Hey everyone. I'm Shaman. I'm Alina. Nice to see you all today. We're doing some tech experimentation. Yeah, so playing around a little bit. Yeah, so hopefully you can all see us <laughs> and hear us okay. So today what are we talking about? We are talking about emotions. Um, right. a lot of what we do here at Harper Therapy is really based on how we're feeling and what it brings up. So when we do um, accelerated resolution therapy. Um, which is using eye movements to process trauma from the past. Mm -hmm. We focus a lot on body sensations and what's going on in the body. There are right. different types of therapies in social work and mental health where you really focus on the energy, what's happening in the body. Mm -hmm. So, did you want to say something? No, I'm just here. You know, I, I make you look good. That's um, my job. <laughs> yeah, just basically so I don't have to like fumble through this on my own. So, um, basically... You know, a lot of people aren't in touch with their emotions, you know? Mm -hmm. I think most of us have a go-to emotion. So a lot of, for a lot of people, it's anger, right? right? Um, and they say anger is an umbrella or like a secondary emotion. Usually under anger, there's fear, there's hurt, right? Mm -hmm. Sadness. Um, for some of us, it's fear, right? Like you might just get into fear mode or depression anxiety most of us have like a go-to emotion what's interesting about this um there was an article published recently on a, a website i like called greatest um where they looked at um some studies where body mapping was done like this thermal body yeah, mapping about cool. they showed certain images sure? yeah okay. there you go oh, look at that yeah so um they did some uh, testing where they showed clips of certain things that might evoke an emotion like anxiety, surprise, contempt, and showed where in the body mm -hmm. it m most people felt that emotion. So it was really so interesting. So like how lit up it was. Yeah. Or like, like what thermal dynamic yes. or whatever. Yes. And yeah. I think the coolest one to me though is love. Yeah. Like, love is like lit up like all over. You know, like, love is I think right. love is this one right here. Right. The, yeah. Right. It's just amazing to see how the different emotions actually show in different in parts, of, different the parts body. of the body. Right? And interestingly, love is like this kind of warm feeling all over. And then when you look at depression, it's decre decreased activation throughout the body, but most, mostly in the lower body. Right. Right. So, you know, and sometimes emotions can bring up both. Right? Like you can get decreased activation with an emotion, but also at the same time get increased activation. So like sadness, you have increased activation in the heart area, but decreased activation in the, in the arms and legs right, and right. feet. Right, Like the extremities, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, the reason we're talking about this is because emotions can just be valuable um, pieces of information. Right. I think like a, a lot of times in session, people will say like, where do you feel that? Mm-hmm. You yes. know, like... We where in your lot. body, and we use like a little whole little gingerbread man thing. I think we've presented yeah. that before. Like, where do you feel this? Or, you know, how does that translate your body? Right. And, and it's so cool to actually be able to see this like real physical representation of, yeah, you do feel these emotions here. You right. Know, in this area of your body. Or, right. You know, it, it's, it, emotions come out physically. Yeah. Have right. you seen that in your life? Like just different oh, absolutely. ways emotions I mean, come out? Yeah. yeah. I, I can tell you like when I'm dealing with anxiety or stress, mm -hmm. I feel, you know, like pressure in my chest, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, or get headaches, that kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, and it's it's not, it's real to say like my heart is full. Right. Like, you know, when right. you love somebody right. or something like that. I, I just think it's so cool to actually have these sayings and have these things the way we experience this actually show up yeah like physically research has right. kind of shown it like you know getting cold feet like you actually, right. like, you yeah, actually get cold, cold feet. feet right exactly so it comes from somewhere cool. yeah so i think you know kind of one of the takeaways from this is really being more in tune with your emotions and where they pop up in your body because sometimes it can feel like oh i'm just feeling tired or i'm feeling a headache or i have tightness in my chest and we just live with it like we don't really take the time to kind of say what's going on like i know for me when I experienced anxiety in the past, unfortunately, I'm thankful it's not like that anymore, but I used to get like a physical like a sensation in my throat, <laughs> right. like literally like it felt like someone was choking me. Right. And, you know, fortunately with the help of like therapy and doing my own work, like I was able to work through that. But, you know, sometimes those somatic feelings are really important and give us more information about what's right. really going on. Um, 
emotions are kind of a key to to learning more about ourselves and and where we're at in life, what we want in life, what we mm-hmm. don't want, you know. So um, yeah, it's it's a really important thing to think about. And sometimes you might even try to identify like if you know if my this emotion were a color, what would it be? If it was you know, if right. I were to name it, what would it, what would the name be? Like, just kind of trying to externalize it in a way so that you can see it. It's not who you are. It's something you're feeling. Right. You know? Pretty cool. Yeah. So, anyways, it's, uh, nice to see you all today, and hopefully you can learn something. We'll, we'll put a link to that article yeah. in our yeah. feed, and, um, yeah, hope to see you all again soon. Have a great week. Bye, guys.